So I'll uh, t- say one thing before you, you say, start. You say. No, no, I'm not going to say anything because I'll learn from you. But what I've learned about about the kind of art that I do is that that artists who work this way, it's like each one speaks their own, speaks a language, and the only way to learn their language is is to spend time looking and seeing what you understand, because. Abstract artists, or people who are working in this way, are working out of their unconscious, and and that's a very, that's a unique place to work from. So you, it takes a while. It's like interpreting dreams. Interesting that the sun is down down there. It feels somehow like the struggle of living, like it's very dense, like a like a um, you know like a sandstorm where you can't see, but that's too literal. Mm-hmm. You know, and, right. and And yet, of course, there's the topographical element. What is this landscape? And with that image that I see as the sun there, it's kind of like both at the same time, looking at the sky and the earth simultaneously. Nice. Very nice. What did you say? What's the sky? Well, because that yellow spot looks like the sun to me, mm-hmm. then I feel like I'm looking up into the sky, mm-hmm. but it also looks like I'm looking down at a topographical map mm-hmm. at the earth. Mm-hmm. Like maybe that's a riverbed and uh, so this is mountain cool. range. That's really terrific, Carly. I mean, I, I, I don't know what that yellow thing is exactly. I mean, I, I, I came to make sense of it, but I, I think that the way you're looking at it is, is really very, very, very good. It really integrates a lot. What about you, Max? Uh, I, I see a few things. It could be like um, a view from above, from like a, like from a planet, not our planet, but something else, and. Uh, mm. There is this, but the the first view I had was like um, it's like um, it's a view from either um, two opposing forces. One is like red, dark, dark. Red and one is greenish yellow, and the red's trying to overcome the mm-hmm. yellow greenish one, mm-hmm. and they have this interaction, sort of uh, fight, too, and the yellow is protecting the yellow, the yellow mother. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is, yellow thing, but it's trying to defend it. From the mm. from the red one, mm. and it's kind of like a, a yolk center of oh mm. yeah yolk good goodness or whatever mother mm. mother hen of the yellow greenish thing mm. interesting sun as placenta and so mm. it, it's kind of like you see this interaction but then I saw my, maybe it's like a blood blood thing and the whole thing is like a creature. Uh, Show me the creature, Max. Like this. 
It, it's kind of like a cell of some sorts. A and, cell? Uh, like a, or, like a mu mu multicellular organism mm -hmm. of some sorts. I see and, that. And as soon as it came close to that yellow thing, what could be uh, an energy, mm -hmm. like ATP in the, uh, the blood ener uh, energy kind of feeding thing that the organisms feed on. You know, the part of it changes color, energized by the proximity of this mm -hmm. energy thing before the mouth going to enclose it mm -hmm. and assimilate into mm -hmm. this organism and it feeds on it and mm -hmm. start traveling again simulating other things. Mm. You know, when you were talking for the first time looking at this, and I think I've been looking at this longer sitting with you than I ever have before in that receptive way, I, I actually began to have a little bit of a hallucinatory experience of it. I mean, I was seeing, my eye was focusing in places that that arranged what it was seeing around it in new ways. Mm -hmm. It's like wherever you look, everything else takes a new exactly takes exactly. a new meaning and exactly. texture, and the colors come out differently. Exactly, exactly. And it kind of fits the, the, the blood thing because it's it kind of like opens up here, and you see like a fiber of the muscle. Like passing mm. through on the background. Mm. So we're like deep inside the body. Because of like the opposite of what I was saying. We're looking at earth and sky and then all of a sudden we're, you know, and like inside the blood. The organism reacts to the energy and reflects it on, on the part of the mm. body. Wow. Mm. And whatever this yellow thing is probably really delicious. <laughs> mm. 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 Candy. so interesting how much richer your experience of this is than mine. It's very, I mean, I, could, I don't think I could have created this if I had, if I had seen as much as you see. What I've done is I created what I saw out of what I was working with and I had, I stopped, and, and but it's take, it's got much more life than I knew it had. Listening to you, nobody, nobody has talked about this picture. Period, ever, anybody. <laughs> I mean, people, Susan and I both love this picture, but neither of us has ever said, well, what, what do you see? What is? It? My, my way of talking about this is very. Yeah.